Hi, this is not a very good hunting channel, and today we're going to be talking about the camp. This uh, luxurious five star home away from home where all the magic happens. Stick around. <laughs> So basically, this is the entrance. Uh, this gate has been there for quite a while. It's fallen over at least once, and I've had to repair it. Um, but yeah, we get a lot of rain um, in the summers, in the springtime, and there's bedrock like a foot down from this soil, so it, the water stays for a while until it evaporates. Uh, there's a shed. This is the uh, the camp itself. It's a an old slide-in trailer. There's the ATV. Um, my ATV, anyways. That's the only window in the place. It's uh, it's boarded up, but you just pull off that uh, that piece of wood, and it comes down. And you have light. There's the chimney for the wood stove, but that whole green part was built. Um, the addition. Uh, for a little bit of room, but also for the wood stove, because the gas furnace, or propane furnace, in the trailer itself, or camper, uh, stopped working, so they needed something for warmth. There's the little metal shed that holds all our uh, equipment, like the sprayer and weed whacker and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I don't know when that trailer was made, but it looks like it's like from the 70s or the 60s or something. Um, it's a traveler. But uh, that's the back end of it there. Lots of tarps because it leaks um, every spring when the snow melts. That's the upper part where my dad sleeps. Uh, there's the windows near my place where I sleep. Um, uh, down under there is the latrine, which is just a bucket. There's a screen door. Uh, and when I said earlier that Oh, there's the porch. You need disrepair. The ladder to get up onto the roof there. But yeah, that one window, that's the only window in the addition, sorry. There's some... When you come in... And now we're inside. Get a light going on there. I don't think I'm going to use that one. I decided to use the bigger light. Okay, so now we're inside. Yeah. Now we're inside. So there's the the door. Uh, some hooks and stuff to hold clothes to dry off and things. That's the uh, the door on the left is the uh, door to the trailer. Um, so that's cabinets that has uh, different books and stuff in it. And on your board, there's the uh, wood stove. That blue bin is to catch the water that drips from the roof. There's our firewood. That's a little boot rack I gotta build. Uh, that's where we hang most of our stuff. Little shelf. Um, little knickknacks and stuff. That's where my dad sits. I'm on the left there. So that uh, little table, that's where I shoot these videos. Um, yeah, just a bunch of knickknacks and junk. There's the uh, 
LED light. This whole camp is powered by a car battery. And uh, so we recently switched everything to LED to, to get a little bit more life out of the car battery. So it lasts us quite a long time. Um, before it was all old style incandescent lights. So it took a, took a toll on the battery. And this is going to go into the camper part. If I can get the door open. There we go. I'm trying to film and hold the light at the same time. So this is the beautiful camper with all the amenities of home, except for half of them don't work. But it uh, that part doesn't leak, so you don't get wet at least when you're sleeping. Um, up there, that's the, uh, the upper bunk, but there's the kitchen part. Uh, this camper is not very big. It's it's. Uh, same thing with the addition. The addition is maybe eight feet by eight feet, uh, two skids worth. This is the uh, utility room. Um, so there's a water damage that leaks in there. So not to mention mice in the wintertime. Uh, so that's the 12 volt battery that runs everything, all the lights. We don't really have much else, but. That's the, uh, the power for the lights. That's the old hot water tank, which does not work. And none of the water works. So not just the hot water tank, just no water. Uh, this is the washroom. Tiny, tiny, tiny little washroom. And a lovely mirror to uh, question your life choices while you're in there. Freezing your butt off in November, trying to go to the washroom. And this room leaks as well from the roof. Uh, we got to patch everything up, but yeah, tiny little toilet. Shower doesn't work. No water works. But uh, yeah, here's an old EV Eddy company. I don't know if that's a uh, paper towel dispenser or uh, made in Hull, Canada. But yeah, neat little thing. Um, toilet paper, all the fun stuff. And then you just pour water down the drain to dump it into the bucket that's underneath. Uh, next is the fridge, the little mini fridge. That doesn't work either. Um, so it's basically just a cooler, uh, coffee pots and stuff like that. So, I mean, when we're out here in November, it stays pretty cold even with the fire going, because this part is not, doesn't get a lot of the heat from uh, the uh, addition where the wood stove is, but so that it works fairly well for keeping your food fresh. Uh, there's the furnace, the propane furnace that uh, hasn't worked in, geez, 15 years. I think that was the first thing to go. Um, okay, so next, move that bucket out of the way. That's uh, basically the flush toilet. Um, there's a stove, uh, the stove still works, uh, a couple of burners still work, so that's good, we can still make, uh, food and coffee. Um, here's a few more, that's basically the light for the kitchen, and then there's a light up, uh, pointing towards the, uh, the bunk where my dad sleeps. There's a sink that isn't attached to anything, uh, basically just storage, uh, some drawers and things like that. Pretty much uh, everything has to be in a tin because uh, mice can get into anything. Um, coffee and sugar and that kind of stuff, cups and plates. And as with everything, it's kind of just held together with uh, hopes and prayers. So that's uh, just more storage areas, a little buck my dad got. Um, that's his bunk up there. We gotta put plastic and everything because of, uh, just in case there's a little bit of a leaking or, you know, insulation falling down and stuff like that. Uh, more storage above my bunk. There's a window that lets in lots of cold air in the winter time. So my bunk is there basically uh, left to right. I put all those mats down. 
Uh, there's the step to for my dad to get up into the other bunk. So that's pretty much it. And then the addition going in. So that uh, that's basically the tour of the inside and out of the actual camp itself. Mm -hmm.